New information, President Biden announced he says he wants 70 percent of Americans to get the COVID shot by July 4th. Way 31's Alexis Scott spoke with the assistant public health officer of Alabama on how we're doing so far and what we can do to be even better. Absolutely cannot give up in Alabama in terms of reaching higher percentages of persons vaccinated. Dr. Karen Landers is the assistant public health officer for the Alabama Department of Public Health. She told me Alabama still lags far behind when it comes to people who are fully vaccinated compared to other states. She also says she knows people are still hesitant, especially with the health concerns that have been coming out. But Landers says there's not much to fear. We do have a lot more data in terms of safety of the vaccine. And again, our data in Alabama looks very good. Dr. Lander says the good outweighs the bad when it comes to the vaccine. Without it, if you're infected with COVID, you could die. She says in the last week, 36 people did die from COVID. Now, by getting the vaccine, you could save your life and others around you. But Landers is thankful we're slowly coming around the corner. Numbers of cases are down. Our hospitalizations are down lower than they have been in over a year. But we are not through this pandemic yet. You can get the vaccine at various locations, just like here at the hospital or a local pharmacy like CVS. And Dr. Landers says if you're able, do your part and join the fight in this deadly virus. Reporting in Huntsville, Alexis Scott with 31 News. We've seen other states offer incentives, such as placing people in a lottery to win money in Ohio. Here in Alabama, Landers says some local businesses have offered incentives, but we're now seeing even bigger chains like CVS say you can win one or more than a thousand prizes. Landers agrees that these are helping and hopes to see even more places encourage people to get vaccinated.